It was all a dream and a scene, making me. Then I came along and changed everything. From cyphers to diapers. Green jiggly beans. But the grind don't stop. We just got a bigger team. Called the weight to the top. Mom, what does that mean? The time is now or never. We, we are dream team. team. <laughs> How are we going to get paid for this? What's up guys? It's your girl Lyric Kane, aka Nini, aka whatever it is that you want to call me, back with yet another reaction video. As requested in the comment section underneath one of my other videos, today I have the honors of reacting to Johnny Richer, Insanely Amazing. You already know the original video link will be in the description box down below, as well as all of our social media links. Please make sure you follow us on IG, Best Friends Since Birth. Also check out my music page on IG, Lyric Kane Official. Also in the description box down below, you'll be able to find my other YouTube channel. Make sure you head over there and check out my music. If you like what you hear, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe, turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on all of my latest music videos, original songs, cover songs, remakes, remixes, challenges, and live performances. And without further ado, we are going to go right ahead and get into this video. My last couple years have been crazy I've been told that I'm insane Others think I'm amazing I lost a few friends Now they're pushing up daisies And you really think some words People say don't phase me my skin is getting thicker than a brick wall The higher that you rise, the more open that you will fall I hate when people put you down just so they feel tall The ones I've lost are the ones I wish that I could call Can't bring myself to take the numbers out my phone Even though I know they're gone, I just can't move on I guess in some way it's how I keep their memory alive I can't delete them cause I still can't believe that they died but I know the right and right beside me through it all, giving me strength like my spirit guides, keeping me safe from the people trying to infiltrate my inner circle with the goal of my soul to break. Those who hate on dead people should all be ashamed. A life is lost, shit is real, it ain't no fucking game. I kind of hope that when you pass, people do the same. But I never want to bring your family more pain. In my last couple years, have been crazy. I've been told that I'm insane, others think I'm amazing. I lost that a few picture friends, right now they're pushing up daisies. And you really think some more? People say what you're pushing up daisies, big guy. My last couple years have been crazy. I've been told that I'm insane. Others think I'm amazing. I lost a few friends, now they're pushing up daisies. And you really think some words people say don't phase me. I can't believe what people say to those they've never met. There's so much negativity spread on the internet. I think you should be held responsible for what you said. I bet that most would think twice before they hit send. Now more than ever, you can't believe anything you so read. So many trolls. Yes, from here, I only believe half of what I see. Because your mind can play tricks or simply be deceived. And what you're looking at ain't really what your brain thinks. And who came up with fake reality shows? The plots are all the same, just give them booze and let the cameras roll. Just look at how it's affecting the young society. All you gotta do to be famous is lack sobriety. The talent is not being talented, think how that sounds. And girls are even trying to be 16 and pregnant now. You can be famous for simply looking good on IG, so please don't say I'm famous. Just say I'm the dude that raps insane. Yes! The last couple years have been crazy. I've been told that I'm insane, others think I'm amazing. I lost a few friends, now they're pushing up daisies. And you really think some words people say they think they're dead. Now my last couple years have been crazy. I've been told that I'm insane, others think I'm amazing. I lost a few friends, now they're pushing up daisies. And you really think some words people say don't phase me. Being talented, think how that sounds. Rep their talent is not being talented, think how that talent is not being talented, think how that sounds. All you gotta do to be famous is lack sobriety. Rep their talent is not being talented, think how that talent is not being talented, think how that sounds. Is not being talented, be cow that down, 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 they don't have to go to school, which school isn't for everyone. I definitely agree. But 
at one point that idea was based on college or schooling after high school. There's kids now who believe they don't have to go to school. They only in elementary school. They trying to drop out and become Instagram famous and that's okay. But what people need to realize, and I often look at so many YouTubers and just people on Instagram, and they have to realize this is all a trend. Instagram is a trend. Being a YouTuber is a trend. And trends come, damn it, and trends go. The same way MySpace was once upon a time popping, and then Facebook gave them the boot. And then Facebook is once upon a time popping. I mean, it's still there, but it's everybody who was famous on Facebook moved over to Instagram. And not everybody made that move because they weren't successful with it. The point is, this is a trend and they need to have some kind of plan B or something to back them up. Like, yeah, making YouTube videos is great, but what happened when YouTube does something extraordinary and they're no longer paying you guys to make YouTube videos? Where's your talent then? What do you do then? You go get a regular nine to five? Like, they just really got to start thinking like, us too it pisses me off too because us as the consumer i feel like we're responsible for making stupid people famous like that bad that chick bad baby the catch me outside chick that irks my nerves and she could actually be talented i don't know i've never heard any of her music before but it pisses me off the fame that she has gathered from being disrespectful to adults and to her elders and the fact that Places like the Shade Room and TMZ continues to post this chick. Like, where do you? What message are you sending to to children? That oh, go be disrespectful. Let somebody record it, and bam, you're gonna be famous. Like that is so not cool to me. And I just feel like we gotta do better, y'all. Yeah, they post it, but it's us that's consuming it. It's us that's clicking it with our nosy cells. We just want to see it. But that's how they get it. They get the views and the numbers, and it's just everything these days. Views, numbers, clicks, and likes. And the more that we consume it, the more they're going to put it out there, and the more these people who don't have talent or who don't deserve a platform is going to be put on this platform, you guys. Um, This video was awesome. I loved it. Love what it was talking about. Love the message. Love the... Definitely bringing in those old school hip hop feels. But yeah, go ahead and get in the comments down below and let me know what you thought. Were you digging it or were you not? If so, tell me why. If not, tell me why. Go ahead and let's talk about it. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, turn on notifications. And until next time, guys, peace out. I'm out of here.